Assalamu alaikum, I'm at Tulane Burkettu. Long time no see everybody, how y'all doing? <clears throat> you catch me on Facebook or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's been a while, it's been a while. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things going on. You know what I'm saying? Shoot with this move. Then they got this situation with this pandemic and all this other craziness. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? We ain't gonna worry about that. Alright, you know, y'all gotta be stuck up in the house, gotta have your little mask on when you go out to go get your little potato chips or whatnot. Uh, psh, you know, y'all gotta, you know what I'm saying, y'all stuck up in the house, y'all can't go nowhere. Me, as an essential worker, I got to come out here or whatnot. But you know what, I ain't gonna be bored, you know what I'm saying, everything's quiet, it's my little break time, let's get it. Word up. Yo, before me... You know what I'm saying? It's what you see before you. Okay, yeah, I done went on the head and got bit by the bug by scale trains. You know what I'm saying? I went on the cop to, you know what I'm saying, Rivet Counter, DCC and Lock Sounds. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, so, you know what I'm saying, this, that, and the third. The uh, Dash 8, we're going to talk about that another time. Okay, you know, we're going to build on that another time. However, we're going to talk about, you know what it is. Word up. Oh, just a case proof of purchase. You know what it is and stuff, man. So, you know, went on that, copped it. All 283 damn dollars spent. Well, all right. And, you know, I got to say that Scale Trains lived up to the name. So, check this out. Okay. You know, it's factory sealed. All of that. All right. Well, you know, I have to pre-check and all of that. We ain't gonna get all of that. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, it is ESU lock sound, you know, V5. You know what I'm saying? So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna unbox this baby. Now, for those who have been following me, okay, I like, okay, if you modeling about talking subway cars, what is the daggone Southern Freight locomotive got to do with it? My money be and stuff, man, and I've been looking for this, this engine. Uh, the engine is part of the Dash 9 series back in 1990s, back in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? It was time for upgrade. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just giving you the step-by-steps. Okay, the unboxing. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do a step-by-step. -step. We're going to do a detailed shot. All right. Give me a minute. Check this out. That's what we're going to do. Unbox it. Styrofoam, all the covers and everything. I'm gonna put that aside. Uh, they do have spinning bearing caps. If you clumsy with your stuff or whatever, you got your bearing caps. All right, you got your clamshell. Out the way, clamshell casing. Okay, your brackets for your wheels, cause this thing's delicate. It's heavy. All right, we'll move that out the way. Put that aside. All right. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do it once over. Remove the handrail foam guards. I'll give you a little rundown, a little history about me and the Dash 9s. Okay, the Dash 940C. I used to live in Hopewell, Virginia. Okay, you know, part of the 90s. Okay, I knew things were starting to change. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Because this right here was back to back with a C40 Dash 8. So I saw this and I was like, yo, the trucks look a little different. 
and you know, just you know, it was they looked the same, but it's different. This was bigger. This was longer. And you know what I'm saying, let me keep this camera steady. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, I noticed some some things that was different. So I was like, yo, this is, this is different. This the new age of the the Dash Nines. And so I started seeing these engines pop up more. Oh, let me get something to alright. <clears throat> Let's talk about some details. Okay. Uh alright. Get a little focus going on. Yeah, you got your headlights. You know what I'm saying? You got your ditch lights, of course. You know, your anti-climber. Okay. You know, your knuckle. Your coupler. Multiple unit cables. Okay, your independent train line. Or your independent uh, brake lines. Your main train line right there. Your multiple unit cable right here. Okay. It's got real walkway treads. Okay. You know, the lighting is real on here. Okay, because it's got the... You know what I'm saying? The porch light. All right. It's got the grab binds necessary. Okay. The sand, sand, and line, sand and boxes. Windshield wipers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Your loose grab irons and stuff, man. And of course, the last engine for that series, 8,888. Okay. They call these engines out here the top hats because air conditioner. All right. You know what I'm saying? They got the snow plow and everything. Also, let me get a focus on here. Uh, the steps are see-through. Okay. The windshield, well, the windows out there, they are movable. Okay, so you can open and close. Okay. I'm just going to notch that open right there. Uh, the printing and everything is legible. Okay, you got your information about the engine. Okay, about your Dash 9. Uh, you do the bearing caps. Okay, your high at trucks. <clears throat> your sunshades. There's the cab interior. Okay. Okay, each one, each thing in the cab interior is separate. Alright. So, uh, you got your dynamic brake grid. Okay, again... You know, you got everything out there that's, you know, all your warning signs, your labels and everything is mad legible. Okay. Because uh, it was, because, you know what I'm saying, they are somewhat similar to a Dash 8, except this is 4,000 horsepower with, you know, better micropresses. Okay, so it's highly technical. So that's why you get this little box right here. Okay, that's where you start seeing a little different. Okay, in the engine. All right, moving right along. You know, you got your dynamic brake grids. They all see through. Okay, your warning labels. You know what I'm saying? Your back windshield wipers. Okay, your wind deflectors flat on the side. Okay, the handrails is mad sturdy. Okay, the details is crazy impeccable. All right. Okay, I'll show you when we go ahead and do a little quick run by. But, um, yeah, you got your firecracker antennas. Okay, right back here on the dynamic brake grid, uh, which you don't see in other types of manufacturers. A lot of a lot of details is pronouns. You know what I'm saying? You got Norfolk Southern uses two types of horns, really. Okay, you got your P5 and you know what I'm saying, and I think it's an SLR4, or SLR5, something like that. It's something close to that. No, don't misquote me. Uh, you got your lift rings out there. They they loose. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Everything is mad sturdy. Yo, your undercarriage is real. Okay. The undercarriage is serious. Let me put my headlamp on so that way, you know, y'all can get just a little idea of what I'm getting at. Y'all see the interior of that, that dynamic brake grid, right? Y'all see that? Yeah. Look at that cabin interior up in there. Can y'all see it? Word. 8888, gentlemen, ladies, everybody. Look at that. All that undercarriage. All that, all that, all that junk up under the undercarriage. Your fuel tanks and everything. Your air filters. 
all of that stuff. Your air tanks, you know what I'm saying? Your air dryers, your sanded lines, all of that stuff. Your electrical conduits and whatnot. And another thing, okay, one thing about scale chain, scale trains, uh, the thing that attracted me is the grills are see-through, okay? The grills are see-through, okay? The smokestack, it does go through, all the way through. Uh, sh you know, if they would have put something, you know, for those light smoke, or whatever, then that'll be that'll be some serious stuff right there. Uh, your air conditioner again is well pronounced. Okay, notice also. Okay, the front handrails. Okay, everything is you know according to Norfolk Southern specs. Okay, uh, etched metal see-through. You know what I'm saying? Fan gr radiated grills. All right. Let's take a look at the back. Okay. Got your tail light, your rear ditch lights, your rear handrails. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Your independent uh, brake lines, your main train line right here, your multiple unit cable. You know what I'm saying? The rear anti climber. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check this out. Again, oops, excuse me. Uh, again, look at that. See through. You know what I'm saying? Let this be a uh, let this be a notice to a lot of model a mo lot, lot of model companies. Rapido and Scale Trains got everybody on. You know what I'm saying? On one, and Bachman's starting to catch up when they come out with them charges. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to build on that later on. But uh, in the meantime, we're on the Stash 9. Look at those traction motor cables right there. You know what I'm saying? The brake chain and everything. You know what I'm saying? The handrails, again, are sturdy. Okay. You got the eye bolt uh, lift rings. Uh... Yeah, you got your dynamic brake grid. Remember, everything is see-through. I ain't trying to make this too long, but, you know, your warning labels is legible. You got your bell. Uh, yeah, everything is real serious here. Also, for those who don't know, okay, this little box right here, this little box, y'all pay attention. This right here is where they stash the spare knuckles. This is a spare knuckle box. Okay, it is see-through. All right, so for those who don't know, Norfolk Southern usually keeps their spare knuckles in this box right here. You know, usually behind the cab. Okay, in a lot of the EMD units, it's usually back here. All right, but, you know, it's right there. Uh, yeah, more, your di your dynamic brake grid is serious. Okay, your, your, wind sh your, 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 your windows... Okay, you know, on your conductor side. Uh, yeah, man, sure. And you got your porch light also. Okay, right here. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all real, man. You know what I'm saying? They they really, you know, they really, really, really in here. Oh, your speed recorder. Okay, don't forget your speed recorder. They are very, very serious Okay, when it comes to detail. Okay, your sun shades and everything. It's hot outside, so the windows is going to be open, of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, don't mind they got an air condition. Unless we got many of your people that small, that's live like that. Okay, with an air conditioner. Okay, yeah, the prices need to go up. And she, some of us need to head down the road. But, uh, yeah. So, what we're going to do... Put this on the track. Again, you know, I got something temporary right now. <clears throat> All right. So, what we're going to do.
Uh, cut the light on. Alright. We're going to cut the ditch lights on. You know what I'm saying? I see that? Look at that right there. Hear that? Cut the lights off for a minute. See where it's coming from? Word up. So, for now, let's check this out right quick. We're going to advance. First, start up the dynamic brake grid. All right, now, when the horn blows, now let me do the grade portion. All right. That way y'all can see what school we got going on here, what y'all spending your bread on. Alright, the bell. Alright, we're going to advance. Got your brake squeal. All right. We're going to go in reverse. You see that? That's what y'all spending your bread on. It's worthy. It's quality. Also, let me show you something. Let me show y'all something. All right, for those who are not electricians, it's got a capacitor. It's got a capacitor in there. All right. So that means if it's raw, if y'all got dead tracks, if y'all ain't taking care of your layout or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can uh Y'all not taking care of your layout or whatnot? Y'all can, um, the train will still run. So if you got a dirty track, you know what I'm saying? Y'all will night action. those lights the round lights are to show the engineer or the conductors you know what I'm saying they to show them you know what I'm saying
But it showed them that the train is moving. That's what the brown lights is for, for those who don't know. Alright? You got your step lights for those out there that's like me that's got to work at night time. Well, your, you know what I'm saying, your porch lights all over. You know what I'm saying? You got your porch lights. Okay. You want to roll for Dolo? Cool. See that? So that way, you know what I'm saying? You can do your Rule 17. You know, dim them lights down. That way y'all don't blind me or my, you know, my co-workers. You know what I'm saying? Norfolk Southern got this thing where they like to ride, you know what I'm saying? They have their locomotives run backwards. that's just them you know they like to operate backwards got to break shoes So, right now, for now, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. You know what I'm saying? And I gave y'all the spiel. Yo, it's always best to go ahead and go DCC. I'm going to tell you why. Shut that down right quick. It's best to go DCC, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I went on ahead and, you know, with mo much of my models now, much of my models now went on ahead and went DCC on the strength of, you know what I'm saying? You know, throwing them a couple dollars or whatever. So that way you get a quality model. All right? You know what I'm saying? Now, I got this phone right here, you know what I'm saying, on the back side. You know, well, according to Norfolk Southern, they like to operate their engines long hood forward. However, because of the FRA, you know what I'm saying, them intervening, you know, they told Norfolk Southern and ordered everybody to go ahead and cop them wide caps. You know what I'm saying, so for crew safety. And that's why, you know, these right here, the Zenith, as far as General Electric is concerned, for the standard cabs. A lot of people out there was, you know, trying to cop this engine as far as the HO scale hobby and whatnot. But again, okay, this engine right here is very unique. You know what I'm saying? Uh shoe. Hundred and I got this from Lombard Hobbies for over two hundred and sixty something bu bucks. Uh no two hundred so is it two hundred top Someone on receipt. I got the receipt over there. But either way, you know, I spent some bread. But it's all well worth it. Okay? And includes, you know, shipping and all of that, which that was $13. Okay, it was shipping. Okay. I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna get to that C39-8 too, man. And there's a couple of other things and stuff that I'm gonna cop. You know, them um comic cars from Metro North from Rapido. Yeah, you'll be hearing them, you'll be hearing a review from there. Uh, you're going to hear some more things, okay, some more apparatus, some more equipment, and everything as we go. You know, like I said, I've been, you know, I've been off the rim for the moment, okay, because, you know, a lot of things been going on. You know, you heard me from, you know, when I talked about, 
was and stuff about to beat the Rapidos B36-7. So, you know, just to let y'all know, for those out there who models Norfolk Southern, yo, this your time right now, man. This your time right now. You know what I'm saying? This is your time. And, you know, it's this is this is like this is spectacular for you, man. So it is what it is, man. And you know, this is this the best thing. Oh yeah, one more thing. While we at it, let's check this out. Right quick. The mode is quiet. Alright. The mode is really, really quiet. Okay. Just to give y'all a heads up. You know what I'm saying? For those out there, you know what I'm saying, that wanted to know. Scale trains out there and Rapido is that giving a lot of people a run for their money. <clears throat> so like I said, I'm gonna cut it short. You know, I ain't mean to take it this long, but um, cause I man, I can give you a lot more information, but so many people done beat me to it. You know what I'm saying? Sure, and you know, a lot of shops and everything is closed, so I had to, you know, order out, you know, somewhere out west. Okay, Lombard Hobbies, shout out to Lombard Hobbies, a good place, Spring Creek, all of them things, man. You know what I'm saying? Shh. Cause you know, my, I don't know what's going on with New York, man. Yo, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get up. We gotta get our, our train game up here, man. As far as the hobby world is. So, like I said, man, C40-9, you know, unique locomotive, man. Uh, man, it's a beautiful model, and you know, Scale Trains. Once again, they did it again. ScaleTrains.com, and you know, they keep. And you know, another thing about them, I like. Okay, they got. Okay, got it optimal customer service okay they call you back and everything man you know they look out for the customer and that's something out there that i look for okay so you spend that bread okay you know what i'm saying they're gonna follow you you know make sure you got your model your models quality and they, they 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 put they put the customer first you know i'm just calling it like i see it a lot of model corporations out there you know they don't talk about that you know what I'm saying they don't they don't they don't do that you know they don't they don't put the customer service they don't put the customers first and I got I got to keep it a buck man you know what I'm saying I got to keep it real so you know what I'm saying your wathers step your game up B you know what I'm saying in the mountain where you at man where you at uh sh you know what I'm saying? Backman, you know, they ain't taking no prisoners. They coming, you know, they're going to come back. I know they're going to come back and come strong. All right? You know what I'm saying? It's Bowser, yo, what's up, man? Shoot. Um, you know what I'm saying? Atlas, you know what I'm saying? Y'all did y'all yo, did y'all thing with the with the with the New Jersey Transit. You know, your New Jersey Transit thing, but you know what I'm saying? It's a lot more to be done. Okay, but um <sighs> With that dash eight from Scale Trains, what they did with the C39 dash eight, can y'all match that? Let's see and stuff, man. You know, I'm not one to you know riff for you know put heads to head a competition or whatever about sales quality, and put the customer service, put the customer service customers first. Cause we spending a lot of money, and I'm I know it's I'm spending a great deal of money. So you know, with that bread that I'm spending. Yo, make sure that make sure my stuff is official, man. Because all of this out there, I'm also trying to get this into the school system so the kids can learn. Alright, that's what the Reggie the Red Bird and the Talking Subway Car series is for. But check this out, I've been rambling too long. Yo, just like, subscribe, you know what it is, man. I like, subscribe, you know, I uh, press that, press that bell, you know what to do. Alright, you heard it all before. You know what I'm saying? Scaletrains.com, C40-9, Norfolk Southern. Norfolk Southern uh, modelers, it's your time, man. Y'all got the B36-7 high nose. Y'all got high nose SD40-2s. Adler, Athern's doing the Jeeps. And, and you know, it's your time, man. All right? So that's what it is. Peace.